Hi guys, Football Manager, youthdevelopment.co.uk here. Welcome back to another episode of our question and answer series. In this episode, we'll be answering a question from the fmbase.co.uk forum. And the question is going to be about Paul Pogba. So this question is regarding how to get the best out of Paul Pogba. He said he's pl currently playing as Chelsea in the second season. He did buy Pogba in the first season. And he's saying even though he's got amazing attributes, he's still not even... You know, he's not able to get a really, really good performance out of him. Seems like he's tried him in quite a few different um, positions, sort of like central midfielder um, on a, the attack duty and obviously as a box-to-box -box midfielder, um, hoping that he'd get a few more long shots in, but he said he still can't get him to perform. The formation that this guy's playing is 4-2-3-1. The best way of me probably answering this question is to boot up the editor, and what I've decided to do is just move Paul Pogba over to Chelsea just using the editor just for the sake of this video just so I can show you guys what I would probably do now in terms of the kind of tactic what I've done is just set up Chelsea how they would usually set up under Jose Mourinho um, so yeah you've got like your normal back four uh, Matic, um, Fabregas, William, Hazard and Costa um, now don't worry too much about the rest of the team obviously what we're going to be doing is just focusing mainly on Paul Pogba so if I take a real quick look at the tactic screen here um, yeah, I've got every, all the kind of players just in their rough positions that they would normally play in um, Yeah, under Jose Mourinho. So if we take a real quick look at Paul Pogba, Paul Pogba um, like I have recently done with the um, Barbosa video, what we really, really need to do when, you, when you're trying to get the most out of a player, what you need to do is just have a look at their key attributes and then this should hopefully help you to, you know, find their best position um, in, in which to play them. So... If we just have a look at the technical attributes first, it's probably always a really, really good place to start. So you can obviously do this for any player, guys, but the best thing to do and to get the most out of every single player is just to have a look at their best attributes. So we can see here that he's got really, really good dribbling attributes, um, really, really good first touch. His long shots is 19, which is certainly going to be a massive part you know, of getting the most out of Paul Pogba. Um, his passing attributes 16. And his um, technique attribute is 18. So got some very, very good um, yeah, kind of attributes here. And you can kind of build up a little bit of a picture um, already of what type of player this player is. Um, you can see here that he's got really good dribbling skills, really good first touch, good long shots, good passing and good technique. So, you know, in your head, you're already kind of building up the type of, you know, player that he potentially might be for you. Going down the mental attributes... Um, so none of these are particularly high um, in particular. I mean, most of his higher ones, um, he's got really, really good determination, really good flair at 16. And most of them, the rest of them are fairly average, I guess. Um, he doesn't have like kind of particularly sort of standout attributes. Maybe his flair attribute is really, really high. Um, his work rate is good enough, but it's not like massively high, if you get what I mean. It's not going to be one of his kind of defining attributes. Um, but certainly, you, you know, if you did want to use him, um, you know, someone that's going to work hard in the middle, he probably would do a job. But it's not going to be the thing that defines Paul Pogba, um, to, you know, to get the most out of him. Going on to the physical attributes, we can see that he's got really, really good balance, um, good jumping reach. So and that obviously goes with his um, height of six at three. The heading attribute is 15 as well. So that's another really good thing to just focus on. We can see that he's got a fair amount of pace at 15 um, and he's also really, really strong as well. So the kind of things that I'm having a look at here, um, I'm having a look at his stamina, um, I'm having a look at his strength. Now, when you are looking at players like this, what you need to do is start linking certain attributes together. So, if, for example, if you've got a player that's really, really strong um, and potentially has got really, really good work rate, and you might also have a look at his tackling attribute, for example. Now... Obviously, when just for an example, I'm not saying I'm going to be using Paul Pogba in this position. Um, but if when you find a player and you want him to kind of fit into a particular position, what you need to be doing is start linking the attributes to, that the player's got in order to find out his best position. So if we were, for example, looking for a ball winner midfielder, obviously you can use these. And I would recommend that everybody uses these as much as possible. And... What you you can do it in your head automatically once you know what the kind of key attributes are that you can link together. Um, but already in my head, um, you know, you, you can start just linking 
attributes together. So yeah, you got your stamina, your strength, your tackling, maybe marking, and that would be good attributes for like a, you know, uh, maybe a ball winner midfield. And now we can see over here that Paul Pogba's best positions or best roles are as a Roman Roman playmaker, an advanced playmaker, or potentially a deep line playmaker. Now, if I have a look um, over here and just take a look at the attributes needed for a roaming playmaker you can see you need a hell of a lot of good attributes now he does have really really good attributes um, we can see here that maybe kind of defensively um, his positioning might let him down um, so obviously the position and attribute is going to be where where he gets on the field and um, kind of more tactically and like in a more sort of defensive position um, so and, and the off the ball position is where where your team's attacking um, will he be getting himself into a good position in order to you know be able to get the ball in space and will he be able to you know get himself into a good position to make make sure that he's really really influential so this could potentially be one option that we choose for Pogba just using him as the roaming playmaker we can also have a look at the advanced playmaker um, so yeah if we have a look at that and maybe on the support function now you can see the advanced playmaker doesn't really use the physical attributes as much, but they will use kind of, you know, uh, more kind of mental attributes if you like. So yeah, you need to have good composure, good decision making, really good flair, um, good teamwork and vision, also technique passing and first touch. So we can see here that although Paul Pogba, you know, six foot three, really, really strong, um, you know, fast and, you know, it's really, really good physically kind of thing. It, this particular role wouldn't necessarily make the most out of them attributes that he does have but it does make the most out of other attributes and we can see here the um, teamwork attribute at 12 is is the lowest and the rest are all 14 and above so potentially the advanced playmaker might be a really really good you know kind of role for Pogba to have um, also I think it's worth kind of mentioning and if I was having a look at you know using Pogba as an advanced playmaker I probably would also put the anticipation in there what I'd want to see from a, an advanced playmaker is somebody that's you know having a look at the the runs of your striker um, you know having a look around the field and you know if you've got like a Eden Hazard cutting in from the left um, if you've got a you know a Diego Costa up front making a really really good run can Paul Pogba get on the ball um, and you know can he anticipate that you know Drogba or Hazard is going to make a really really good run um, off the ball and can Pogba find the you know the player certainly when you're having a look at the best kind of position for a player really really good thing to do is go to the overview tab and then go to information now from here obviously what you'll get to see is just um, load additional information so yeah you'll get to see like a description of the player and um, you get to see all his preferred moves which are really really going to be important for deciding their best position and also you can have a look at the you know additional positions that they might be able to play so certainly we can see here that his kind of natural position is in the middle he could potentially also play kind of a little bit deeper um, although not probably recommended um, and also he could play a little bit further forward um, but again it's not necessarily that recommended having a look at his um, kind of star ratings here so we can say that his best position or his most kind of comfortable position is certainly going to be in the middle of the park now like I mentioned, it's going to be really important just to have a look at this. So we can see here that his preferred moves are that he likes to get in the opposition area. Um, he likes to shoot from distance and he also likes to dwell on the ball. Now, I think with the dwell on the ball um, preferred move, you're really going to need sort of like a composure. Um, and, you know, you're going to... This player is going to be sort of like dictating the the tempo of the play, I think. And, you know, a lot... If the ball is going through Paul Pogba... Do you want him really kind of like dwelling on the ball um, you know, sort of like holding on to it? Is that going to be part of your tactic for, for your Chelsea team? You know, these are the type of things that you really, really do need to have a think about. I think now we've kind of had a look at all of his key attributes and his preferred moves. What I'm going to do is just go into the tactics screen and just show you what, you know, what role um, I would use Paul Pogba in and the kind of, you know, additional things or roles that I would give to, to, Paul, Bog to Paul Pogba as well. Okay, yeah, so I've reviewed quite a few things here, guys, and I think, in all honesty, the, the best position for, or the best role for Pogba is definitely going to be a roaming playmaker. So, 
just reading the description it's basically like Paul Pogba um, all over really so it's got yeah the roaming playmaker is the heartbeat of this team driving forward with the ball to spearhead attacks as well as tracking back to cover defensively um, so yeah he's always going to be available for a passing option to his teammates and he must have the physical attributes to maintain a high intensity as well as the technical attributes to stamp his authority on the game now, to me, that basically describes what Paul Pogba is. Um, and I, I don't think any other duty or role would really kind of get the most out of his attributes that he has got. The most important thing that I kind of saw here um, was the Roman playmaker will often camp on the edge of the penalty area looking for room to shoot or try that killer ball, which creates a goal scoring opportunity. Now, obviously, when we were looking at Paul Pogba, we know that he's got that long shots attribute of 19. And we also know that he likes to shoot from distance. So there's definitely like a lot of things that, you know, is, he's basically got to play in that Roman playmaker role, I think. And, you know, if we can get him to kind of camp on the edge of the penalty area, I think, and just, you know, get as many long shots in as possible, that's certainly going to, you know, make him get the most out of his game. What I've also decided to do is just have a look at his training. And if I was managing Paul Pogba, what I'd also do is get him to learn a new preferred move. And what I'd do is get him to try killer balls as often as possible. So we know that he's got really, really good passing attributes of 16. His technique's also really, really good. I was very, very tempted to get him, because of his high dribbling, flair, um, you know, he's got really good strength, technique, um, things like this. I was really, really tempted to get him to run through the ball, uh, run through the middle a little bit more with the with the ball. But, you know, you've got the likes of William, um, maybe Oscar, you've got Hazard. <clears throat> These players are going to be running, you know, with the ball already. And I think with Chelsea, obviously, you've got Matic kind of sitting back there. Um, Fabregas will, will probably stick his foot in as well with a tackle, but the the fact that Paul Pogba's got a passing attribute, uh, sorry, a tackling attribute of 15, and um, really good work rate, good strength, stamina, and um, things like this, I think that you know Paul will also need to kind of put his foot in with a tackle as well. And um, so I think kind of giving him that license to kind of run with the ball a little bit more often maybe might not be the best kind of thing to do more defensively however when I was having a look at um, kind of additional things to do for Paul and um, so if we have a look at the player and um, kind of set up what we can see here I've also given him the um, instruction to shoot more often so basically when he does have um, you know when he's in a really really good position to try and have a shot what's going to happen he's going to try that shot and hopefully with his long shots um, attribute of 19 and also his other preferred move it's certainly going to be a really really good thing um, for him to try and just have as many shots as possible. I also did have a look in here, and although I wanted him to kind of dribble more, it looks like when you have the Roman playmaker um, kind of role selected, it's already active, um, you know, as part of this kind of role, basically. So it's it's, it's pretty kind of good, I think, that that's part of the role. Um, so, yeah, he's kind of encouraged to, um, yeah, be more individualistic, um, you know, and just kind of dribble past his opponents rather than trying to pass his way through to goal. And I certainly think that's going to be a really, really good thing for Paul to do. He certainly got it in his locker um, with his attributes. And so, yeah, I think, um, yeah, certainly t teaching him to play killer balls, getting him to shoot more often. Um, yeah, I think I think you're likely to kind of get the most out of Paul Pogba in that. And certainly if I was playing as Chelsea, what I'd be looking for Fabregas to do. Um, would be the kind of like holder if you like so the person you know why while um Paul Pogba is kind of like Roman and you know being more kind of creative and um, what I'd be looking for Fabregas to do is kind of you know kind of sit in the middle um in you know sort of like support Matic if he if and when he can now looking at, at Fabregas's attributes you know his obviously his passing and vision and everything's absolutely fantastic um so yeah, they're, they're kind of contrasting in the middle, but I think certainly with Matic, you're, you know, he's the guy that's going to be just winning the tackles um, and things like that and be like your more kind of strength. Um, so you've you got your kind of strength in the middle. You've got the player that's kind of just letting things tick over and then you've got your creativity in the midfield. So I think that would certainly be the way forward um, and the way that I would use Paul Pogba. I hope you found this really interesting, guys, and I hope it's kind of helped you just thinking about other players. Certainly it's best to kind of look at their key attributes uh, when deciding the you know best position to play them in and also it's really really worth mentioning to have a look at the player preferred moves 
um, you know, as these are going to have a massive influence to the way the, the players do play. Thanks for watching this episode, guys, and we'll see you very, very soon for some more Football Manager videos.